Okay, so I am going to continue with the things that you are probably miscalculating when you are shopping for hard times. You know, as I said before, I'm doing this out of experience. I am not recommending brands or whatever, you know, unless I have to. And um, anyway, uh, down below, it's my email in case that you want to write something private. But keep in mind that I do not check my email that often. So it's better if you write in the comment section. So anyway, um, that is also if you ca if you want to help me out with an Amazon gift card because, um, like I said, I'm not monetizing the channel anytime soon. Also, um, if you haven't seen the video before this one, you might want to get a look at that one. And if you haven't, that, um, take a look at the one before, which is the thoughts about um, the shopping process, then you might also want to get a look at that one. And um, I'm doing this in kind of order, even though it doesn't seem like it, but uh, it is kind of um, how I do things, you know. I don't want to do I don't want to do videos that are more than 15 minutes because actually um, I can't. Uh, my computer is very limited, and um, also the camera. And also, it takes me almost two days to upload a video, sometimes five days. Depends upon a lot of factors. So anyway, back to the point. Other things that people are very, very, you know, miscalculating and doing a lot of wrong things. Number, uh, I don't even know what number is, but right now I'm going to talk to you about medicines. Well, um, right off the bat, I can tell you that if you are getting a lot of pills for pain, that is actually good. But actually, what I'm here to tell you is that you may not need them. I mean, you can use them for trade later on and stuff like that. But if you're actually in pain and stuff like that, um, and you are into natural medicine... I can tell you right now that if you if you uh, get a book on natural medicine or whatever, you can get a wild lettuce, wild American lettuce, and you can use that for pain. By the way, before I continue this, I need to tell you something. As you can tell, I am not a doctor, so I am talking for um, experience. I, you know, I'm not responsible for whatever you do with this information because, quite frankly, you know, um, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm just talking to you as a person, a human being that is telling you, you know, that uh, you can use natural medicine as long as you know what the hell you're doing and as long as you have, you know, tried it before or something like that. And I'm telling you, you know, in my experience, because right now there is a shortage in medicine in my country and we are using natural medicine. So, um, like I was saying, you can use, uh, you can learn how to use uh, wild lettuce and then um, that one you can learn how to prepare. For um, allergy medicines, you know, you're probably not getting enough Quite frankly, um, allergies is just one of the big things that you're going to get. And um, for children and all of that, oh hell, it's, it's just, it's very important that you get a lot of allergy medic medication. And the allergy medication will not go bad after maybe one year after we have used it. And um, it doesn't lose the effect or whatever. But uh, there are certain things that do get bad. I'll get, I will get that into a minute. But like I said, um, if you're thinking pill medicines, you know, will be your priority. You might be right, but you are missing something that is more important. And that is um, your eye medicine. Quite frankly, um, 
there are like different kind of drops, you know, for your eyes. There is for red eye, there is one for you to make uh, the tears, there is one for you to have, uh, to fight infections in the eye, there is one for allergies, there is one for even eye tension, like uh, blood pressure, but eye tension. And um, quite frankly, it's as scary as hell to get a problem with your eye, mostly because I don't know what natural medicine that will help you heal um, your eyes. Uh, probably, you know, I will probably do more research about that, but so far it has been good. But um, without your eyes, you're kind of screwed. And here's the deal. If you buy drops for your eyes, they will go bad. If they say the expiration date or use by, let's say, January 2010, then you, it's going to be good probably until March, March 2010. After a couple of months or maybe three months, you know, depending upon the, the type of, of uh, eye drops, it's going to be bad. I don't care if people think that, oh, it's uh, two years old and it will be good. Oh, hell no. I can tell you right now that if you use... Um, eye drops that are expired for a long time, let's say six months, even a year. I have used both, you know, uh, the, the one that is expired and the one that is not expired. And I can tell you right off the bat that the one that is uh, expired will be bad. Like it will itch like hell if you put it on your eye. And it might not work, like really, it just doesn't work. Probably because of the same thing that happened when I told you about um, about the, the laundry detergent, that the powder works, but the liquids won't stay the same. Well, eye medicine is liquid. And I think that that is the reason why it will go bad. So you cannot store those things for long term like maybe three years or four years, oh, hell no. And if things go to hell, you are going to need eye medicine. So you must find an alternative, especially, and I do mean especially, because not because of the frequency that it happened, because it doesn't happen all the time. But if it does happen, oh, hell. Especially the ones for the eye tension. Like when we have a blood pressure, but with, with your eye tension, oh my God, that one is, is one of the hardest drops to get. And you cannot, you know, you can use it if it is expired, but I can tell you right now, if it has been too long, as in more than maybe a couple of months after the expired date, oh hell, that won't work. I can tell you right now, it just, it just won't work. And um, if you're having eye problems, Oh my God, you, you, you need to find an alternative about this. And um, you better start doing the research now because if you have eye problems, you probably are not going to be able to use your eyes for, you know, reading and you're not going to be in a very good shape to start doing that. So you must consider this thing. Also, um, like I said, um, allergy medication, you might want to get a lot, but... Um, I can tell you right now that there are natural medicine alternative to that. There are like teas and stuff that you can make for allergies and there even, they are even creams that you can make. So that one is not the bad, but here's the kicker. The medicine that is going to disappear like quite, quite, quite fast is probably going to be antiacids and anything that has to do with your stomach. The reason is people eat crap all the time. And even if you do not eat crap all the time, chances are there, there is going to be something that is wrong with your stomach because you are too scared, you're too stressed, you're too something. And you're not eating. Or you're drinking too much coffee or whatever. And your stomach is going to be the most affected of your organs besides, you know, 
besides the obvious one, which is going to be your mind. But my point is that you're going to need a lot of medicine for your stomach. And um, those are going to be the first ones that are going to be missing. So in this order, you get first the medicine for the eye and you make sure that it has the expiration date that is at least one year from now. And, you know, you, you do have to keep that one in mind and keep it in, you know, like written down or something. Then stomach. Not pain, stomach. That will be your biggest problem. Because pain, like I said, you can manage with natural medicine or something, but stomach, that's not that easy. So your other medication that you may want to take or consider is sleeping medication, especially for women. And I do mean especially for women. Women get cranky, angry, upset. They will get, oh my God, it's hell when we do not sleep. And um, quite frankly, most people will actually will steal and will do anything and it do mean anything to get pills for sleeping. Sleep uh, pills for pain? Oh hell, you try to get them, uh, you know, a lot and you might fight for it, you might do a lot of things, but quite frankly, it's not as crazy as people can get for trying to get a sleeping pills. Quite frankly, there is, pe there is uh, sleeping pills that you give to only people that are uh, clinically you know, they, they need it for clinical things like schizophrenia or whatever. And people will fake those things, will fake that they have schizophrenia or whatever, just to get that kind of pill, the one that makes you sleep. They will pay whatever the health price you ask for. So whatever, it, whatever you use for sleeping, that is golden. Like really, like the, like the gold mine that you do not want to let go. So, hell, you know, for common things, you know, if you're going to come to trade with common people, then, you know, I think it's important because like I said, you want it for yourself because, you know, you do not want to get blind. But, um, and as far as functioning things, you need your stomach. And as far as trading or doing whatever, oh hell, sleeping pills, that will be, you know, the thing that I think most people do not consider. After that, um, you might want to get anything for uh, your immune system or like vitamins and stuff, but here's the kicker. Um, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to learn how to make vitamin C out of uh, uh, pine trees and stuff like that. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if the name is pine tree. I think it is. It's needle tree or pine tree or something like that. I, I, I can't remember. But the point is that you can get it in the whole continent. From Canada to Argentina, you can get the same plant and it will grow in the American continent everywhere. I don't care if you're in Florida or in Italy. I don't care if you are in California or New York or Canada or, or Venezuela or Colombia or whatever. You can get that tree and it will grow. It's one of those weird things this plant is like like i don't know it's like a an invincible kind of a plant and that one will give you vitamin c a lot so you know just research a lot about these things and you might not need a lot of multivitamins or whatever and in case that you don't have them you can make them about calcium you can make it with um you know um you can make it yourself. Just look it up. And um, there are also, you know, there are so many things that you can do to, to make your own multivitamins. And there are a lot of things that you can do to make your own natural medicine. So, but you are right. Most people will probably, you know, trade for a lot of pills. But you have to consider also this. Medicines are, are you know, for three people. Or I should say four people. So number one is for rabies. And um, that one, you probably do not want to substitute with anything because it is a baby. It, you cannot give a baby um, medicine from an adult that will kill him or her. So no. 
um, you probably also want to know in person or at least, you know, know where the hell to go in case that you have medicine that is from an adult and there are people that knows how to separate it and prepare it in the right dosage amount for kids. That's what we do sometimes. We buy antibiotics for adults and then we take it to the pharmacy, a special pharmacy, and then they will break it down and then they will put it into a liquid and stuff and then they will say, hey, take it, take it like this for